Hi everyone, Scott or the Scott Man, and welcome to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Halifax is the largest city in the capital city of the province of Nova Scotia. Halifax has a lot of amazing architecture, dating back even some at least a century or two. So in this video, we're gonna go we're gonna go check out some cool historic sites with some great architecture. So let's go. And we are here at the Halifax Citadel. It has a beautiful architecture here. We've got, we've got all, many beautiful stone walls circling the whole complex here. You can see it both inside and outside. And also take a look at the Cavalier building too. The Cavalier building is where you have like the, the, the visitor's information center as well as the, the barracks and also the army museum on the second floor. As a matter of fact, this is not the first citadel which was here up on top of this citadel hill. This is the fourth. And this was built back in 1856 out of stone because the previous three citadels, which were primarily built like out of logs and different types of wood, was not as durable. So they wanted something a little bit more durable, especially because they were a little concerned about the neighbors to the south, which of course is the United States. The very first citadel was constructed in 1749, and with this current and with this current one, it was it was housed by British soldiers even until like around 1906 when it was transferred over to the Canadian military. Here, here at the citadel, you can even observe the changing of the guard. Uh, and when I was here, when I'm here today, it's on the top of every hour. Make sure to go on the free guided tour as you will learn even more about the great history of the Citadel as well as get some spectacular views of the city. One thing I also enjoyed was watching the soldier reenactments throughout the Citadel grounds. It really felt like I was back in the 19th century. And standing on the, on the foothills of the of the citadel, we have the 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 Halifax Clock Tower. It is the probably are one of the most, if not the most, famous landmarks in Halifax. The Old Town Clock was constructed back in 1803 by the orders of Prince Edward. And as you can tell, the building has gone through many, many renovations, including one as we speak. The clockworks of the tower date back to when the clock tower was originally built. After I saw the clock tower, I headed down to my next stop at the Halifax Grand Parade. And here we are at our very first spot. This is Halifax City Hall. It was first opened for public office back in 1890, and what a beautiful, beautiful building this is. The City Hall overlooks Parade Square. It's a beautiful park area with a lot of picnic tables and Adirondack chairs. The Halifax explosion was the largest man-made explosion before the atomic bomb was dropped in Hiroshima in Japan. From the blast from the from the French and Belgian ships crashing in the into, into each other in the harbor, a bunch of ammunition went off and it killed 2,000 people instantly from from the blast. And not only that, but the whole northern half of Halifax was completely wiped out back then. And to commemorate that, if you look at the north side of the clock tower, that clock is set permanently to 9.04, which was the time of the Halifax explosion.
And behind us, this is St. Paul's Anglican, Ang Anglican Church. It is the oldest building and oldest Protestant place of worship in Halifax. It was built back in 1750. And let's go inside. But yeah, just take a look inside. This is beautiful. And not only that too, but this is the first building built in the Palladian style with even the wood which was pre-cut in Boston. And it's also said that the small part of the church on the north side got damaged from the explosion back in 1917. I'll just take a beautiful walk along in here. This we've got the cast iron facade here. It was, a, it was a popular type of building material back in the 19th century due to its durability and also the ability to be mass produced. And it does not disappoint either. And over here on Hollis Street, we are here in front of the Province House. This beautiful building built in the Georgian architecture style is the seat of government for the province of Nova Scotia. And right across the street from the Province House, we have the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia, the main art museum here in Halifax. It was established back in 1865 in these old historic Dominion buildings. It is a very popular attraction to check out while you're here in Halifax. Well, I gotta say, we've seen a lot of beautiful buildings here in downtown Halifax. And of course, starting up over by the uh, Citadel and coming into downtown. But yeah, a lot of great history here too. But that's not all, just not only in downtown there are some cool things to see, but you can also check out some cool historic architecture over by the harbor. And if you would like to take a little break from, from, from checking out some of the cool architecture that you can see here in Halifax, uh, don't miss the Halifax Public Gardens. The Halifax Public Gardens was, was established back in 1874 and uh, has a huge collection of trees, plants, flowers, even some ponds, even, even with, the, with the model of the Titanic. This is a great spot just to check out the, the beauty of nature as well as check out even some wildlife. Or if you just want to relax and, and enjoy the day. Alright, and we have made it to the historic properties Privateer's Wharf. This is a collection of waterfront warehouses which are considered to be Canada's oldest standing warehouses and it's home to many great restaurants, services, shops, and name it. Um, when you're exploring the, the Harbor Walk, you just have to take in the beautiful views along the harbor. So peaceful and it provides a nice breeze from, especially with the heat going on today. It's unusually warm here today. <laughs> Now over by the historic properties, there's also a lot of cool places where you get some food over along the harbor as well. You got one of the beaver tails. I remember getting one of those in Ottawa. Maybe I'll go there later and have some dessert. Yeah, a lot of great options here. Ice cream, you got fish, lobster rolls. Even, even some poutine over there. And not only that too, but the Halifax Delicacy, the Donaire, similar to the uh, 
donut kebab that you get over in Europe. All right, time for us to leave the harbor area and go check out some more cool historic sites, more back in the, the city. Yeah, just walk, walk over here at Pier 21. I, I went in there for a little while off camera, not only to cool down in the heat today, but also to check out the the Immigration Museum. Uh, Pier 21 was it was the was one of the main ports of immigration for future Canadians from 1928 to about 1971. So after coming over here from a long voyage from Europe or elsewhere, they would go through immigration and customs over here and then eventually onto a train to uh, wherever in Canada they want to go to, whether it was in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, or Quebec, Ontario, etc. But yeah, decided to go a, a little detour from our little architecture tour. So now let's go back into downtown for sure now to check out a few more cool, exciting buildings. And here we are on Barrington Street and that is the Henry House. It's an example of the Halifax House, which is a two and a half story building. It has a granite facade with an ironstone siding. It was built back in 1835 and a cool thing about the Henry House is it is a restaurant. Further north on Barrington, that is the government house. That is the residence of the Lieutenant Governor of Nova Scotia. Yep, and just to the north of the old burying ground, which we just passed on Barrington, this is St. Mary's Basilica Cathedral. Wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful cathedral. So it's been it's been renovated into the Gothic Revival style and it's made of ironstone. And we look up to the top, the top of the granite spire, we have a beautiful cross all the way up there. And here we are, <laughs> we're in front of the Halifax Central Library. This was built back in December of 2014. And the ultra fantastical modern style. Well, to be honest, I don't even know what type of style it is. <laughs> but yeah, we even got an observation deck up at the top. We're gonna go inside and check that out. Well, I gotta say, that was a beautiful building. Just really like the design of it, I have to say. And it is very close to the shopping area here on Spring Garden. This stretch of Spring Garden, to just to the west of the library, is a very popular shopping spot. It was such a great day checking out some beautiful architecture here in Halifax. So uh, let's go take a ferry across across the harbor over to Dartmouth and get a spectacular view of Halifax, and we'll, we'll reflect back on our adventure today. We made over to Dartmouth and I'm gonna go set up the tripod and we'll get some cool pictures of Halifax and we'll also conclude this video. Hey, after a day of exploring Halifax, it's 
nice just to have a relaxed little evening, just shooting some photography and some Here we are at the at the Dartmouth Harbor Walk, and this is some of the best views of downtown Halifax. Just got to go across the harbor for those. But yeah, such a beautiful evening, uh, and what a way to reflect on our architectural adventure throughout Halifax. All sorts of cool buildings, and a very special thanks to to uh, YouTuber Canadian Kelsey who gave me a little bit of an itinerary to follow for this trip. Although, I didn't follow it exactly just because, well, because I have other, other things I want to check out too, but, but, but that aside though, yeah, it, it was a great help uh, determining some different places to check out here, including this Harbor Walk. And yeah, the air just feels great, especially with the, with the sea breeze coming in. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's adventure here in Halifax. Um, I'm curious, have you ever been to Halifax? If you have, uh, please feel free to leave a comment about some of your favorite things about Halifax or there's some cool things that I did not cover in this video. Because so I'd love to, love, to he love to hear them as I'd love to come back someday. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button to, to come along and join, for join me for the adventure. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching today's video, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out from Halifax, well, t technically Dartmouth.